Hey guys, Streamlast Studios here, and today I have a Cinema 4D tutorial for you. And the tutorial is gonna be about how to make sort of like a comic intro thingy, and it's gonna look like this. You have all these letters and bouncy text and really nice colors and stuff. You can see here. So let's start by file new. Then you're gonna start by adding mo graph mo text and align it to the middle. I'm just I'm just gonna write stream line. Change the font. I'm gonna use a font called Bada Boom. And you can find it at thefont.com and it's really nice comic font. I really like it. And change the depth to what's one hundred. Yeah. I'm gonna add some cap, fill it cap, and fill it cap. I'm gonna add six and eight, and then six steps, and then eight radius. And on the fill it type, you're gonna change it to half circle, and you get this really nice outline text. I wanna change the horizontal spacing to let's say 15. Does it look? That looks nice. And um, then you wanna um, duplicate the text by uh, clicking Command or Control C, and then Command or Control V to paste it. Just gonna name these text objects to keep more or or order. Studios. And then I'm gonna move the studios below the streamline. I'm gonna type studios. Maybe make it a little bigger and then move it like so. And then this is what we have. And then we're gonna make the text as you can see here. I'm gonna make the text come in all that random stuff and then all this wobbly thingy I'm gonna make that now so you go to entire you go to select the stream select both no select the first text object go to MoGraph effector and grab an um, spline effector <laughs> And then you want to add the spline. We're going to use the arc and change the plane to XZ and change the radius to let's say 2000, no 1500, and then the end angle to 180. Then you want to rotate it 180 degrees. So hold shift that makes it the uh, Five degrees snap to 180 there then you want to go on the spline and as you can see here is at the spline and you want to drag the arc into the spline and as you can see the text is gone but if we hit play nothing gonna happen but if you do this change the strength you see the text comes in like that but as you can see the text is overlapping and we don't want that, so go into the arc and click. Uh, here it says reverse, check reverse, and then as you can see now, let's go to the spline. You can see now the text comes in like that. Really nice. And then I'm gonna animate this. So control click on the strength at zero frames, then go to 30 on the timeline, then make it zero. And this is what we have now. And you want to do that on the studios also. So I'm just gonna move that above and then group this. Name it to keep order much easier. Then you want to go to studios, MoGraph effector, spline effector, add an arc. Basically, you want to do exactly what you did uh, last time. XZ, 1500, 
on the radius and angle 180 rotate it 180 degrees then what I forgot to do you have to move the first spline you made move it up like that then the second spline move it down like so then you're going to go to the spline drag the spline into the spline there and animate this also so go to zero on the timeline control click on string then go to 30 and control click again and on the arc remember to check reverse and this is what we have now but as you can see the text doesn't bounce wobble thing you like it does here as you can see the text and it starts to wobble and thing to do that just gonna group this first alt g or option g studios and then uh, you wanna first click uh, both of the text subject go to more graph then random effector and then go to the parameter and change the x to 0 this to 1000 and this to 0 and the rotation to 300 200 and 100 you want to go to 0 on your timeline control click again to make a keyframe go to let's say 35 then 0 now you get some really nice animation as you can see there and yeah now mark the both the text object again go to effector delay effector and this is where you're going to make the wobbly thing go to the mode down here go to mode spring and change the strength to let's say 80% as you can see now it's really nice and really cool comic like intro thingy really like it I'm just gonna add a camera and click on this little square to see through now you see through the camera when this turns white I'm just gonna yeah just gonna add a little animation and to do that you wanna add a circle x z Let's see just gonna like so make the radius let's say two thousand and then go to the coordinates and change this to minus two thousand and let's see how long how far it takes this. that's nice then you wanna add go to objects and no object go to cinema and go to the camera cinema 4d tags align to spline go into the tag and drag the circle into the spline path and if you go to 75 percent like so as you can see now and if you move the position around you don't get so nice animation and then you want to go and to fix that go to camera cinema 4d tags target tag and on the click on the target tag and drag the new object into the target object and if you go to the line to spline now you can see you move around the text like so and not like uh, before and this is really nice so if you go back to 75% and uh, if you move the null object you move the camera so gonna animate the null object to start it down here 
click on no object click uh, to make a keyframe and then here you want to just remove the minus and then add another keyframe so the camera goes up like so I'm gonna add 200 frames in the timeline I'm gonna add this keyframe all the way to 200 so you get a really nice camera animation As you can see camera moves up and really nice just gonna change the little bit a little down like so okay mm, now that you have the text animating and all that stuff let's add some materials so let's go here just go there just double click here to add a material go to the material go to color texture gonna add a gradient click in the gradient and change the type to 2d v and change the first hair to orange nice orange and this to yellow more yellow than orange and then you want to drag this to the right and control click on this and just drag it over here I'm just gonna make this a little more orange, darker orange. Then you want to go to texture, copy, go to luminance, paste. You're gonna change the strength to 10. No, sorry, this strength to let's say 20%. I'm gonna add some reflection, go ahead. 5% on the brightness. I'm gonna add Fresnel. I'm gonna change this to 10%. Then go on the text object. Just add it to the text object. Control kick and add it here. And you wanna change the projection to cubic. Let's change the orange even darker. So I need to luminance also. Almost red. So like that. And if you render now, it doesn't look that nice. So mark both the materials and click check seamless and offset it V offset it maybe like so. Then stretch it out length like so and as you can see you get really nice gradient on your text and then you want to make another material double click double click and make it all red and let's see in the luminance also and check specular reflection I'm just gonna add the same as I did on the gradient for now and then 10 percent then a little trick if you mark both the text object right click on the material and click apply you apply it to both text object and in the selection let's see oh shit in the selection you want to type R1 and that makes a really nice outline and yeah I'm gonna make that background really fast so you wanna add a plane you wanna rotate it 90 degrees and make it bigger like so then you want to add a new material a really bad time so I go to gradient oh shit. Uh, gradient uh, 2dv green nice green there so I have to go this to go through this sofa and a yellow and luminance also copy the texture Copy, paste, and if you add that to the background, and you want to change the gradient a bit, so like so, uh, yeah. This has been Streamline Studios. I hope you liked the tutorial, and please like, comment, and subscribe.